Well, I'll tell you what, nobody wants to get hosed and buyers are still getting screwed by the sheer thought of some of these manufacturers are selling vehicles above sticker. I never thought market adjustment fees were even going to continue on until I've started doing some research and found out, in fact, yes, they are. And there's still people paying over sticker and dealers that are still trying to gouge. So I'm going to offer some of the worst car deals that you can possibly get right now. And if we have Daisy, a new member here, of course, in the channel, and she is the latest member of the easy car buying family. And she thought she'd join along. She wanted to see and participate and give her blessing on the cars that I'm talking about. So if you're looking for some great deals and you want some of the best opportunities to save yourself a buck, these are probably some of the last cars that you should look at, even consider buying. And there's other reasons you may or may not buy them. But in fact, they're some of the worst deals that you can get. And, and it's just absolutely devastating when people continue getting hosed on these car deals these days. I, I still can't believe this is going on. You know, people are clearly not learning a lesson and it's the unfortunate part of this whole car buying industry and the fact that it's going off the rails is because buyers who are willing to overpay for these vehicles. But here it goes, let's just talk about this and we'll see what Daisy has to say along the way. And I know she's gonna have a lot to say because she's a pretty talkative little thing and she's a little bit, a uh, little bit kind of, looks like a little restless. So anyway, getting on the first one. So the first worst deal, if you like, Toyota, it's no doubt, Toyotas are, have been great sellers. They really have. They've been, you know, sell on demand. Toyotas and Subarus have been doing pretty well themselves. But Toyotas are a little short on sports cars. So when they have something that's fun to drive, they tend to get snatched up pretty quickly. And so one of the worst deals is the Toyota GR86. You want a great manual rear-wheel drive sports car that doesn't cost you an arm and three legs? Well, I'll tell you right now, the GR86 is one of those vehicles. And when I'm looking on here in my statistics, we're finding that people are paying the on the Toyota GR86 premium with the manual, as I mentioned, 6% over sticker. So people are, on average are paying $1,766 over the $31,900 sticker price. And they're on average paying $33,666. I... Again, we, we can't reiterate enough, you should never pay over sticker in any market, even in the hot market that we just came out of, let alone the market today. But anyway, moving on, it's a great car. I have driven them, they're fun, I get it, but no, nah, skip it, there's always better options. Uh, another one, surprisingly, is the Kia Soul. You know, the boxy little car that, or SUV that Kia would put out that was fun, had cute lights, and you know, it was a real theme type vehicle and certainly appealed to the younger buyer. They're, they're, they're that boxy little car. What I would say is people are generally paying 7% over sticker or about $1,576 over the $22,690 sticker price. People are generally paying as much as $24,266 if you can believe it. So it, it's absolutely, oh, she's got quite a grab there. <laughs> she's like, oh, okay. She's got quite the claws, I'll give her that. Um, so another one that is uh, surprisingly, actually it is and it isn't. We know full-size pickup trucks have gained a lot of popularity in the last couple of years. And as a result, we're seeing some of these trucks that, that, that are selling at absolutely ridiculous prices. So what I see here is the GMC 1500 Sierra. We know it's one of the most popular trucks. We also know that Chevy GM collectively are selling more vehicles even than Ford now. And of course, Ford's always been the, you know, the top seller for, for light duty pickup trucks in North America, but it looks like GM and Chevy are kind of pulling up the ranks. So if you want to get a 1500 Crew Cab Pro with the four wheel drive, the sticker price is about $47,300. I, I don't get it, but people have on average paid as much as $3,379 over the window price, the window sticker price, and they're paying as much as $50,679. And, and remember, we've said this before, the more that people are paying over the sticker, the harder it's going to be to get a deal in the next run because it's the buyers that drive the market. It's not the dealers. I mean, the dealers will set a price, but if people are willing to pay it, it'll hold. If people aren't willing to pay it, it'll drop. It's as simple as that. Just ask Stellantis how that game is working for them. Okay, so the next one is the Audi A4 Allroad. Oddly enough, 
Uh, Audis, it's kind of surprising to be honest. We know a lot of the Euro cars are not selling all that particularly well, but you know, if you find a wagon that's practical and it works, the U.S. market definitely, when they get their minds on something, they seem to, it seems to stick. So what we're looking at is a $47,600 uh, Audi All-Road Premium 45 TFSI Quattro that, um, again, people were paying as much as $3,485 over sticker and they were paying as much as $51,085 and that's plus, you know, paint protection film, plus mats, plus you know, extended warranty plus taxes, PST, GST, VAT. I mean, you name it, it's plus, plus, plus. So people have overpaid for the Audi A4, 2024 model specifically. Clearly, and that's, that's a, a weird one. And the reason I say that's a 24 model year. So, I mean, those should be heavily incentivized, never mind the other way around. So people that are paying for an older model shaking shaking my finger you should know better than that we preach all the time the next one is the audi a3 at 22 uh the a3 is a popular little model the s3 is same thing and the rs3 is actually one of the i i'd advocate and say one of the best sporty sedans that audi builds and um and so as a result of that um people it catches on it's smaller it's subcompact it's, you know, it's it's easier to own and operate than some of the bigger Audis. So people tend to gravitate. They like the name, they like the branding, but they don't want to pay all the money. So they get into these smaller cars, the A3s and S3s and that. Um, it starts it starts well below the $40,000. So, you know, relatively affordable by most people's budget. But would you believe it? People are paying 7% over, 3475 over the 47400 sticker for sort of the TFSI, sort of the upgraded versions, not the base trim, which is around 40 grand, but but once you step up to some of the uh, the TFSIs and the Quattros and you know you add a few options, you know, they're paying as much as fifty, almost fifty-one thousand dollars for that vehicle. I don't get it. Not at all. Okay, another one is Kia Sorento. Now the Kia Sorento is uh, as an odd duck. A uh, little daisy get a little rambunctious here. <laughs> Not loving it too much, but anyway, we'll go with that. Um, it did get a refresh. No, I get it, right? I mean, the Sorento, it was kind of a garden variety minivan looking SUV, and they did a recent refresh. And I think anytime you get something fresh and you know energetic looking, it does drive traffic, and people are sometimes willing to extra pay a little extra. So unfortunately for the 24 Sorento EX with the all-wheel drive, People are paying as much as 8% over a sticker, $2,960 over, and there's paying as much as $42,250. Why? Let the dust settle. We all know that buying the first of a new model change is always a bad idea. You're going to get the glitches. You're going to get the gremlins. You're going to get the problems. The bugs haven't been worked out yet. So uh, what do you think, Daisy? What do you think? Skip it? Yeah, I would skip it too, apes. Eh? Hit the road with the Kia Sorento, right? Don't bother with that one. Yeah, see, she's not loving it either. Now, the Audi uh, Audi A4. We already said, you know, the lower trim levels and the lower versions of the Audi brand are typically easier sellers. And they're more popular. And the younger buyers are thinking more with their hearts rather than their, their minds sometimes. And so... Um, what we're looking at are vehicles that are typically in that 41.9 range for the sticker price and the a4 prestige 40 tfsi quattro people are paying eight percent over so three thousand two hundred and five dollars over the sticker price so that takes people up to forty five thousand and a hundred and five dollars forty five grand um they're paying a lot of money over the price of these vehicles as as they're marked up by the dealer why are people doing that? Anyway, that, that's just a big no-no, is what I would say. What do you think, dear Daisy? Skip on the Audi altogether? Yeah, see, that's what she thinks, too. So let's move on. Let's try the uh, Q5, the Audi Q5, another one. There's something going on with these Audis here. I don't know what it is. I, you know, I think what it is, North American market loves them because the Quattro, the all-wheel drive, it's luxurious. They do have a flashy interior. 
But the A4 is similar to the A4. The Q5 is basically on a, a slightly higher ride height and platform. Um, although it's even not particularly a new model, you know, the, the, the 24 model year of the Q5 Prestige 40 TFSI Quattro, they're spending the $48,777, which is higher than that standard 45300 So why are you paying over sticker? That's what I'd like to know. And the markup is about 8% or about 30, almost $3,500 over sticker. So again, I can't reiterate enough. Avoid these vehicles. There's many great vehicles on the market. You don't have to get stuck and, and basically overpaying for some of these, these products. And clearly VAG groups are popular vehicles and people are willing to pay over. I, I'm not sure I get why. Uh, here's another one. How about the 24 model Kia K5 that costs around $29,490 and sadly there's a markup, 8% markup of $23,49 and people are paying on average $31,839. Not sure why. Worst deal. One of the worst deals, period. Okay, let's keep going then. How about the 23 Kia Sportage Hybrid? Okay, there's one for you. The LX, $28,590 sticker price. And a markup of 9%. Can you imagine paying or an extra 10 cents for every dollar or an extra $100 for every thousand that price uh, of that vehicle? I, I, it just doesn't make sense. Especially in my opinion, these, these aren't necessarily, you know, the reliability challenges have certainly been there throughout the years. And I know they've been getting a little better. But $28,590 MSRP and 9% sticker uh, markup. $2,543. And uh, that takes you up to $31,133. I, I, I don't explain it. All I can say is it's one of the worst deals. So really the bottom line is if you're looking for a good deal, I mean, obviously you've got to sharpen your pencils. You've got to be willing to negotiate. Don't just go in there and pay willy-nilly whatever the dealers are saying and saying, well, here's the worst thing is when the dealers are saying, well, this is a hot model, it's hard to get, low low volumes available, we're having to wait six months because they're hard to get our hands on. And that all drives this, you know, the buyer. The buyer, clearly Audi, there's a bunch of VAG products in there. Clearly the sellers are doing a great job of marketing the product and probably on the front line where the salespeople are saying, have a, you know, have a, have a great... Um, uh, just it looks like they're great negotiation tactics in promoting a product that is they're, they're ballooning the value essentially right the manufacturer the OEMs are saying it's worth this but wait a minute yeah well, you can get that but it's really not worth it never ever pay over sticker we should always be in today's market we've heard about what's going on I mean the bubble has all but burst sure sales are going out sure cars are still selling and you know what, I'd be, I'd be probably not entirely correct if I said the market has totally dropped out 100%. That's not happened. But the market has grossly softened and to the point where there are deals. The, the, the foot traffic coming into these dealerships are very few and far between. And there's many a deals out there to be had. So there's no way on this earth that anybody should be willing to pay market adjustment fees over sticker or any of that. I mean, people come to ask me all the time, you know, they, they say, look, here's the sticker price. The dealer wants to add on these extras, but it seems like good value. Honestly, if you want to do extras, I always go third party. If you certainly want to do, say, for example, paint protection film, um, always go to a third party vendor because that's they're usually taking their vehicles over to that same vendor anyway, but they're putting on their 20, 30, 40, 50% markup. Floor mats, there's better options. All weather mats, you can get on all over the internet. You can find a lot of great options out there. If you want OEM, sure, you could probably order them likely. You can get them through the parts store, order them directly instead of the salesperson putting a little extra markup on there. Remember, they're always putting a little extra on top of the total. So if they're adding all these extras, they hit the bottom, then they put on their price points, you're paying a little extra where you really shouldn't need to. Go as much third party for the extras and the add-ons that you want. If you want to set a roof racks, go aftermarket. If you want to set a mud guards, maybe go aftermarket. There's lots of stuff on online. I don't want to promote that per se, but there's no point you should be paying anything extra. And just shop around. That's really the key. Never 
overpay. Anyway, I hope that helps each and every one of you. Some of the worst deals you can get today in early November of 2024. I hope that helps. Do please do drop a line. If you know of any absolute brutal deals out there you've encountered where the dealers are still applying some massive levels of markups on sticker, I'd love to hear about it. Please do drop a line. Hope to see each and every one in the next one. See you real soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.